Hi, so um, I have been asked to do another video um, on how to use an image as the texture for your model. So I figured uh, maybe it would be fun to try and make a bookshelf um, <laughs> like this one here uh, and model it and then use this image or an image like it as the, uh, as the texture. So... Um, I'm just going to line this up in the world so that I can see it. Um, I'm going to line it up along the X like this. Just bring it back until it's in the view. And um, keeping in mind that um, this is two meters tall. So I'm going to bring it up in edit mode on the uh, Z so it's on the ground. And this would be a really, really tall bookshelf. Uh, so I am going to bring it down quite a lot and bring the whole thing in maybe to here and bring it in again. And now you're probably like, well, this is a really thin bookshelf. And that is because I'm figuring this out as I go because it's been a while since I've modeled one of these. But this is going to be one of these uh, one of these walls of the bookshelf. So I'm going to bring one out this way, and I'm going to duplicate it and bring one out this way. Um, and I am going to add in some reference for scale. So we have a person. Awesome. And that does not look terrible, actually. Um, we might as well. Let's see. I don't think that's too wide. I mean, you can make it a little thinner if you want. I'm, I might do that, actually, just for the sake of this. And um, I'm going to Shift-D to duplicate this, slide it over another few, maybe to here, duplicate it again, do the same. I'm going to take these N ones. And in X-ray mode, I'm just going to select the bottoms and I'm going to drag them down just a little bit. Then I'm going to select one of these and Shift-D to duplicate, rotate it 90 degrees like this and drag this down so it's underneath. And I'm going to, oops, scale it out with the X and line this up so it kind of fits together. And I'm going to select this. Shoot. Yeah. Select the bottom here and make sure that this basically lines up. Awesome. And like that. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see, let's make these little in-between boards now. So um, I'm just going to duplicate this bad boy, Shift-D, to duplicate. I'm going to drag this up. I'm going to scale it in so it just fits within one of these. And uh, I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. I'm going to duplicate it again. Bring it up one more time for good luck. Uh, let's see about there. Yeah, that looks good. That's perfect. Um, let's save real fast. I'm just going to call these uh, bookshelves. And um, I'm going to go in edit mode and I'm going to select all these front faces. I'm just going to drag them back just a little bit. So they're like here, maybe. Cool. Um, I'm going to go to the shader editor. I'm going to make a new shader. I'm just going to call it uh, wood. Now I am going to import an image of the bookshelves that I'm using for uh, the reference. I'm going to do uh, tab in the edit mode, select everything. You do project from view. Go to UV editing. Make sure you can see this here. Um, all right, let's just take these front faces and I'm going to put them all together. 
And I'm just going to line them up with one of these pieces of wood. And you can go as much into detail of this as you want. I'm going to go to this side with uh, the sides of these selected. And I'm going to do U, project from view, and I'll line this up like this. It's not going to look great, but there's going to be books covering this up, so I don't think people are going to look too hard. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to just select all of these and do a similar thing with view, project from view. And I'm going to line them all up and put them on some wood. Excellent. I am, however, going to select everything, press A to uh, select them. And I'm going to do uh, Control B to give it a little bit of a bevel. And um, I'm going to turn the segments up just a little bit. Uh, all right, let's make some books now. So. I'm just going to, in edit mode, I'm going to shift D on one of these faces and scale it in. Like this, maybe. And oops, I'm going to extrude up along normals. And I'm just going to make a few books here. And you want to give them a little bit of variety. So uh, make some of them leaning is a great thing. Okay. Um, I'm only going to do like one row of these for right now. Uh, again, you can fill out as many books as you want on your own time. But just so it's not just me filling out a ton of books for half an hour. <laughs> I'm going to select all these and I'm going to go to the UV editing again. And I'm going to line up here. I'm going to U project from view. Excellent. Uh, let's start with this, just this book. So I'm going to find a book that's sort of the size and shape and just scale this to somewhat fit it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look passable. Uh, I'm going to go on to the next book. Similar deal. Okay, when you got all those uh, lined up, you can just go through and select all of them. Just give them a kind little bevel. Doesn't have to be great. Okay, those look natural enough, totally. Um, you can go back through, I'm gonna select all of them. And basically at this point, uh, if you haven't already gone through and just filled out all the shelves, you can just go through and put books in them. You can switch the transform type to individual objects. So you can uh, basically invert these if you want. And that's really helpful for getting quick results fast. And then you can just come through and select all of them. It really doesn't look that bad. Uh, you'd want to change up the randomness. Again, like I said, like project some of these onto different books so it doesn't clearly look like they're just all uh, copied and pasted. And you probably want to make sure that there's a lot of roughness so that they're not shiny and there's not that much specular. And yeah, that is how I would model a bookshelf if I wanted it for the back of a scene. Yeah, so this type of uh, bookshelf deal, this works great for the backgrounds of scenes. I strongly advise this was using the exact same method with the same books and they came out looking pretty good. So I hope that's helpful and I'll catch you next time. All right. See ya.